Hey, it's Afropian Monica. Although this is a vlog from the city of London, the main concept of this video is working remotely with a friend whom I'm going to meet at the Plaza Hotel in Westminster. On this channel, I usually share my African and European trips, but I've recently realized that I've not vlogged from England and London for a while. And yet, London is where I live and spend most of my time. Working from home can get lonely sometimes, so when the walls are closing in on you, consider scheduling a workday outside your house or hotel with a friend who also works remotely. That's what we did. By the way, in terms of digital nomad recommendations, London is an expensive city, so unless that doesn't bother you, I would probably not recommend choosing London for working remotely from another country. There are many great and cheaper destinations in Europe and beyond. On that note, check out my vlog from Krakow, Poland. Okay, when I got to the hotel, my friend wasn't there yet. So I ordered some breakfast at the cafe and started working. Because the main concept of a workday, of course, is to do the work. This was my view from the cafe's window, Big Ben. It was a perfect reminder of the passing time and tasks needing my attention. It's great having the famous clock tower reminding you of the urgency but the seat was uncomfortable, so I had to move elsewhere. I had worked for about an hour or two before my friend arrived. Then we decided to have lunch at the restaurant upstairs. Unbeknown to me, that was going to be a first. My first time eating sushi. Oh, yeah. There's hot appetizers there, so I mean, duck, duck spring roll. It's beautiful. This woman is not letting me do any work. <laughs> yes, because we, we, lunch. we lunch when we lunch and we work the whole That's it. So try and grip it. Yeah. Try That's to it. Nice there you go. Oh, you're a natural. Now you've got to use this finger to hold the tip. Have you got a fork? Please. No, no, no. You're not going to use a fork. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go, 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 go. This is her first time having sushi. <laughs> and I've got to not try and get her nails in. Come on. Come on. I did it. It's not too bad, actually. My salmon on my eggs. Look. It's, not too bad. <laughs> it's peppery now, if you felt no, the pepper. No, it's kind of nice, now. you know? If you felt the pepper. Okay. It's raw. It's completely I raw. I thought I was going to hate it. But it was um. Interesting experience. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is she. I've got no lipstick on people and I was not informed of this vlog, so I am protesting. <laughs> 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 no one ain't paying me to be on this vlog. <laughs> After lunch we got back to work together. While working, I try to stretch my legs every now and again. Stretching my legs at the Plaza Hotel meant taking a little walk and doing a little sightseeing-ish. Because I was talking to you and you were not responding. She looks like an angel, doesn't she? I'm not an angel. Go <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at the Park Plaza and this caught Monica's eye. This is the artwork for the Look Like Me book challenge. Winsam is the creator of the Look Like Me book challenge, which is a campaign for fair representation of BAME children in literature. This challenge is about inclusion and diversity in the book publishing industry. I love this artwork which was created by a 17-year-old. Notice that most of these kids have no faces. According to The Guardian, researchers say 
We are not yet at the point where children of color have the same experience of literature as their white peers. Okay, back to work again. Okay, so tell me uh, what is happening. Okay, uh, let's do Tuesday because I would like that done by the end of the week. Okay, so let's have a conversation on Tuesday. You don't have to have um, the final product, but I need you to come up with some ideas by then. Do you want to be in the vlog? I'm gonna get to it. Oh, so now then. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> I spent nine hours at the place, mostly working. However, much food was consumed that day. Eating out is one expensive reason why working remotely from London, outside your home or other accommodation is not sustainable. Occasionally, it is fine though. And it is beneficial to your mental health. I'm gonna have the Greek salad, Greek salad? and garlic bread. Sure. And uh, what did we have, Winston? Um, we had a tonic like this. I'll have another one of those. Yeah, you want the same, just one more. Yeah, just one more. Yeah. And that's that. No ice? No ice, no, thank you. Your tonic uh, in the previous is saying no ice, just lemon? No ice, yeah, thank you. It's too cold in here, it's not like it's Ghana. I don't know why people drink ice with. I don't understand. It's not Ghana, it's the UK. <laughs> But not for too long because it was getting late and I did what I came to do. Thank you. <laughs> 